Hello everybody, I'm Tiago. I manufacture metal studs here in South Louisiana. Today I'm going to talk about the naming convention used in North America. The first part of the stud is the web depth, expressed in hundreds of inches. The second part of the stud is the product code in a letter. So S is the typical shape. That's a S for a stud shape. You can see it has the return lips right over here. And the other shape is a um, T is the other typical shape track right over here and that's expressed by a T. The third part of the name is the flange also expressed in hundreds of inches. This is the flange right over here on a stud. In this case it's a uh, 162 flange so it's about 1 and 5 eighths inches. And the third part of the naming convention is the gauge thickness. That's the end. That is expressed in mils, which a mil is a thousandth of an inch, so 0 0.001 inches. This is a stud right over here. Now this stud, the name this stud particularly, we go look at the top first. See, we have over here about six inches. So this is a 600. It's in the S shape, so a 600 S. The flange right over here is, if you look at it, it's a 162 flange, so it's a 600S 162. And the gauge thickness for this one is 33. For another example, we're going to name a piece of track. First, we look at the outside diameter. This track is uh, for, for uh, 362. This is the outside, the outside, so it's a 362. It's it's a track, so it's a T, 362 T. And the flange in this case is going to be about 200. So it's a 362 T 200-33. So often metal studs are referred to by their gauge. They're available in a variety of different gauges, which represents their thickness. The gauge value is measured in mils, thousandth of an inches. Common gauge options are 25 gauge, 20, 18, 16, and 14. The gauge greatly affects the stud's strength as, as well as the load bearing capacity. It's very important in design. These are the common gauges and their thickness in mils. So 14 gauge is 68 mils, so 68 thousandth of inches. And as the gauge number increases, the mill thickness decreases. So 20 gauge stud is thinner than a 14 gauge stud. Metal studs will often come from the factory labeled with a color. So they'll have a color spray painted on them at the end of each stud. And that refers to their gauge and their mill thickness. So the thickness of the metal being used to form the stud. The most common one is 18 gauge, which is yellow, 43 mils. Other common ones are 16 gauge green. Another commonly used feature in metal stud framing are furring channels or hat channels. The first number in a furring channel refers to the height of the furring channel. The uh, product code indicator, the F, that stands for furring, so that's the middle number. The middle letter, then the width is 125 in this case, which refers to the um, the width of the hat channel and the last one also like the metal studs refers refers to the mill thickness slip track or slotted track is named very similar to regular metal stud track but instead of s or t the center letters are slt an example of a six inch slip track would be 600 slt 250-43 slip track is used in metal framing to allow for vertical deflection of the wall this helps prevent cracking of finishes applied to the wall, such as drywall. In other words, slip track is used to prevent the wall from bowing or sagging due to the weight of the ceiling of, or roof above it. Bridging is applied in the middle of metal studs to brace the metal studs and uh, connect them all together. It's often used in load-bearing walls. A typical bridging number is 150. That's the width of the bridging channel that's running in between. The U shape is the shape of the bridging channel. The 50 is the flange width on the edges of the bridging channel. And then the last number is the mill thickness again. Presented a channel is often just called RC1. It's a building material made of flexible metal used to improve soundproofing of walls or ceilings. It creates an air gap between the framing and the surface. It's just denotated by RC1 
flat strapping is used in the same way as um, the res uh, bridging channel. It's used to connect all the studs together. It's either connected in an X shape or on the surface of studs in a, uh, in a vertical way. A 2 inch wide 18 gauge flat strap would be named FS200-43. The width can range from 2 inches all the way to 16. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please see the links down below for more information on metal studs and steel framing.